Hey, what's happening, y'all? Happy to see you. This is Mr. Clifton. Today, we're going to be use, working on our project in Canva. So fifth graders have been creating a movie theater for one of their math projects. And today, they're going to create posters and movie tickets through Canva for some of their favorite movies that are going to be featured at their theater. So if you're a third or a fourth grader, feel free to jump in on this lesson and create a movie ticket or movie poster for your favorite movie. All right, let's jump into the work. All right, y'all, so let's get in. So I clicked on the link in the Google slide. It brought me to Canva. And here I can see all the designs that I've created. Um, that's how I know that I'm logged in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a design. So this first one is going to be a movie poster for my favorite movie, Do the Right Thing. My favorite character in that movie is Radio Rahim. So I want Radio Rahim to be on my poster and my ticket. Cool. So to get started, I'm just gonna go up here and create a design. As you can see, once I click on create a design, I can create things for YouTube, I can create posters, and you even see ticket. So what I'm actually gonna do is, this is very specific, so I'm gonna make a movie ticket. So I'm gonna write movie ticket. Cool. And movie ticket comes up. Now, they've already created templates for you to use um, to make your, get a head start on creating your movie ticket. So down here, I can scroll down and there's all these beautiful designs that I can pick from. I really like this template here. And when I'm ready to start, I just click on it. And then I can drag and I can click up here and say, apply both pages. Cool. And so I have the front and back of my ticket right here. Okay, cool. So these pictures, obviously they have nothing to do with do the right thing. So I need to find my very own pictures of, again, Radio Rahim. He's my favorite character. So I'm just gonna go up here and Google Radio Rahim. All right, and so then I'm gonna go to images. Great, now I see Radio Rahim right here. Now, all right, so I'm gonna pick one of these one of these images. And then on your Chromebook, you're going to use two fingers to click and save image as. Here we go, save image as. Now I'm gonna go back into Canva. And now I just need to go to uploads down on the side. You can see all the pictures that I've uploaded before and you probably have some already. And then upload an image or video. You'll find your, your recent and your most recent file should be that image of your character. So now I just need to click and drag it into my ticket. So I'm gonna use this image here. And I think I'm gonna add another image for um, the backside of the ticket just to make it more interesting. All right, cool. So I've uploaded two different pictures of Radio Rahim to make it interesting. Um, now I really can start messing with the text and start changing the colors of the ticket so it looks like my movie. Cool. So what I need to do first is double click into, it says the unknown. If I double click on it, then it'll allow me to edit the text. So I'm just gonna write. Cool. Then the colors don't really, the colors kind of match the buildings in the background, but not the style of the movie style of the movies like this real like back in the day 90s like hot pink type of type of color so I want to change my color to do that all I need to do I can highlight the whole thing and then click up here on the A and then I can click I can pick any color I want so you can also change uh, the background color right now it's black so if I want to change something like that and I just click in the black space and then up here it shows the black and I can change that color too. What I actually decided to do to help me out with this is I grabbed my DVD 
of Do the Right Thing. Such an awesome movie. I even have a DVD. Nobody uses DVDs anymore. Um, so yeah, I have the DVD. So I'm gonna look at the cover and I'm gonna use some of the colors that are in the cover. And I'm gonna make up a, a date, like coming back. Hopefully we can be back in the building in 2021. Um, or at the end of 2020. So I'm gonna select September, maybe September, let's do 15th, 2020. Maybe we can have this movie night. Yeah, all right, cool, awesome. Then I can just continue changing some of the elements on, on this slide. Cool, so I feel like I'm done with my uh, front side. So now all I need to do for my back side is um, copy the same type of style. Cool, so I like it, it looks really good, but now here's the best part. You have been designing your own if you're a fifth grader, you've been designing your own movie theater and this ticket is specifically for your theater. So my theater is the Confluence Center. I'm gonna actually put the Confluence Center. I like this, I feel like it's great. Um, and cool, so now I'm ready to start on my poster. Let's do it. When you're done, Canva, automatic, Canva automatically saves your work so you don't have to worry about it. You can get started on another project. So to do that, gonna go back home and I'm gonna create a design and this time I'll go a little bit faster because it's basically the same thing but you're looking for elements for a poster so instead of movie ticket I'm gonna say movie poster all right so same type of thing I want to create create a poster using elements that are like the movie do the right thing. Okay, so. All right, cool. You know, I like this. I like this poster so far. I think what I'm gonna do is submit it to Seesaw so that everybody can check it out and I can get some feedback on how I can make it better or if it gets the job done. All right, so now to download. So I'm here in my poster and I wanna download my work to upload it to Seesaw. All I need to do is go up here to this down arrow, which means download. If you click on print posters, they're gonna try to make you pay for posters for something you made and don't pay for that. Don't do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the down arrow here and and you're gonna do click on PDF print, okay? And download. I'm gonna go to Seesaw. There will also be a link in the lesson slides for this project. Ooh. All right, there you can see um, some stuff that I've posted in your Seesaw. You're gonna click add and you're going to upload then anything that you download on your on your Chromebook will go to your Google Drive but it's easiest to go to select from computer and then if you go to 
downloads and then reset, you'll see your PDF. Oh, so there's my poster. Do the right thing, Spike Lee joint. Coming to the Confluence Center, fall of 2020. What I can do now is I can add text, I can record a message talking about my work, talking about how fun this was to create, how difficult it was, and what I'm gonna do better next time. And then you'll click your checkbox. And once you click it there, then you're done. And anyone can come in and comment on your work. I know some of you are also using Flipgrid in your classroom, so post it to Flipgrid and you know share it with your teachers as well. All right, y'all, make sure that you have fun and enjoy this activity. Take your time and really put your personality into your poster and your movie ticket. I can't wait to see the work that you post in your Seesaw or your Flipgrid account to share with your teachers. All right, and we'll see you next time. Peace.